Why does auxiliary heat come on? Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing an important question. Why does auxiliary heat come on? If you've ever wondered why your auxiliary heat kicks in at certain times, this video is for you. So, let's dive right in. Understanding Auxiliary Heat To understand why auxiliary heat comes on, we first need to understand what auxiliary heat is. Auxiliary heat, also known as backup heat or emergency heat, is a secondary heating system that is designed to provide additional heat when the primary heating system is unable to meet the desired temperature. The primary heating system in most homes is usually a heat pump. Heat pumps are energy efficient and work by extracting heat from the outside air and transferring it indoors to warm up your home. However, when the outside temperature drops significantly, the heat pump may struggle to extract enough heat from the cold air. This is where auxiliary heat comes into play. When does auxiliary heat come on? Auxiliary heat typically comes on in two scenarios. Scenario 1. Cold weather as mentioned earlier. Auxiliary heat is triggered when the outside temperature drops considerably. When the heat pump alone cannot meet the desired indoor temperature, the auxiliary heat system automatically kicks in to supplement the heat produced by the heat pump. This ensures that your home remains warm and comfortable even in extremely cold weather conditions. Scenario 2. Heat pump malfunction The second scenario in which auxiliary heat comes on is when there is a malfunction or issue with the heat pump itself. If the heat pump fails to operate properly, the auxiliary heat system serves as a backup to keep your home warm until the heat pump can be repaired. Energy Efficiency Considerations While auxiliary heat is valuable in ensuring your home stays warm, it's important to note that it consumes more energy compared to the heat pump. Heat pumps are highly energy efficient, as they rely on extracting heat from the outside air. On the other hand, auxiliary heat usually consists of electric resistance heating, which is less efficient. Therefore, it's advisable to keep your heat pump well maintained to minimize the need for auxiliary heat. Regular maintenance, including cleaning or replacing air filters and scheduling professional checkups, can help optimize the performance of your heat pump and reduce the reliance on auxiliary heat. That concludes our discussion on why auxiliary heat comes on. We've learned that auxiliary heat is activated when the heat pump alone cannot provide sufficient warmth during cold weather or when the heat pump malfunctions. While auxiliary heat is essential in ensuring your home remains comfortable, it's important to remember that it consumes more energy compared to the heat pump. So, keeping your heat pump in good working condition through regular maintenance is key. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding the role of auxiliary heat in your home's heating system. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and stay warm.